Hey everybody, Mr. Simone here. Um, for today's video, I want to go over how to solve systems of equations uh, using the graphing function on our, uh, our graphing calculators. So the first thing you want to do is you want to enter in the, uh, the equations of your systems in slope-intercept form, which is your y equals mx plus b. So the first thing you want to do is going to go to y equals. All right, now I have a couple examples. Um, these come from pages 8 and 9 of your workbooks if you're in unit 6. So the first equation we're going to use is y equals 3x minus 8. All right, so you're going to type in the 3 because this is like the second half because that y sub 1 represents your first equation. So y equals 3x minus 8. Um, we're going to type in the 3, and then you're going to type in x. Now make sure that you're not clicking in the multiplication symbol over here, and make sure you're using this right here, uh, this button, which is x, t, omega, n. That's your x variable. Okay, and that's always going to be your x variable. And then we'll just put in subtract 8. All right, so that's our first one. You can press enter, or you can click down to the next line. Uh, the y sub 2, those, those little sub numbers tell you um, basically what line comes first or second. So the second equation we have is uh, y equals negative 2x plus 7. All right. When you're going to type a negative value, do not click the subtraction sign. All right. Don't do that. Make sure you click the negative symbol, which is next to enter. So we're going to type in negative 2, and then my x is my x variable, and then plus 7. Once you have your two systems in slope-intercept form, and you're going to want to graph them next, you're going to want to see where are they uh, intersecting. Okay, so that, we're going to go to graph. And you'll notice that you can kind of see where they're intersecting, um, but we can actually calculate it um, through the graphing calculator. So this looks like it's about maybe 3, 1 or so, but it's kind of hard to tell. So what we're going to do is we're going to press, uh, we're going to try and use the calc function. So we're going to use the second button, and you're going to press uh, trace. And if you notice, this, the secondary function of trace is this calc. So you click that. And because we're going to try to find the intersecting point, or when these two uh, linear equations are, are equal, we're going to go down to the intersecting point. So you can scroll down to 5, or you can just press 5, and it will do the intersection. So you press enter, all right? You're going to press enter here three more times. So one, two, three. And it'll give the exact point of three, one as your coordinate. Okay, so that is the solution to this system. Or in other words, when these two linear equations, when they equal the exact same amount. All right. Um, you can also go to the uh, table of this. So you could go to second graph, which is the second function of graph is table. And you can also scroll down to see when both of these um, functions are exactly the same answer. So when x is 3, your first equation and your second equation are both at the same exact point. So you can also do it that way. All right. I'm going to go back to y equals. And this time I'm going to type in um, some equations with, uh, with fractions, because sometimes that can throw us for a loop. So the first one I'm going to look at, uh, the equation is 1 half x my, uh, plus 3. So this is number 3 in your workbook on page, uh, I believe it's page 9. So y equals 1 half x plus 3. Now to create a function, you have two methods. Um, some of us can just type in 1 divided by 2 to create that 1 half. You can also put in the x and then the plus 3. Okay. Now if you didn't want to do that, you could also... Um, some people like to put the fraction in parentheses to show the ownership. Um, so we can put in parentheses 1 divided by 2, so that's our half, and then x plus 3. Some fractions um, you can just write as decimals. Uh, obviously, all fractions you can write as decimals. Um, but again, like point, uh, point 0.5 you can represent as 1 half, but it might be a little bit more difficult to type in 1 third, which is you know, point 0.3 repeating. So try to keep the, uh, the slope in fraction form. All right. And then we're going to type in the next one, which is y equals 2x minus 6. So 2x minus 6. And we can graph it. So the first graph you're seeing is the first line of that 1 half uh, x plus 3. 
and the second line is the 2x minus uh, 6. So this one, we look like we, we're kind of in this area. So let's see if we can actually calculate it. So second trace, which is the calc function, we're going to click on 5, and then we're going to press enter three times. And then we have the solution that our point where they both intersect is the point 6, 6. And again, whenever you have a solution to a system of equations, it's always going to be a um, ordered pair, all right, or a coordinate point, so x, y. All right, we'll do one more. Go to y equals. We can clear out these two linear functions. And this time I'm going to do 3 halves x. So 3 half x plus 3. That's my first equation. And the second equation, I'll use the enter button, is 1 fourth x uh, minus 7. And this is number 4 on page 9. You'll notice I didn't put the, the, um, the fractions in um, parentheses. You don't have to do that. So we'll go to graph. You'll notice that this graph, the intersection is way down here in quadrant um, 3. So we're going to go to second uh, trace, which is the calc. Go down to the fifth choice. Press enter three times. And there's our solution. So it looks like it's negative 8, negative 9. And we can also check it. You can go to second graph, which is the table function. And you can scroll up to negative 8. And you'll notice that both, yes, in fact, both of those uh, functions are exactly the same answer at x equals negative 8. So I hope this video helps. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll keep practicing. We are going to do all these by hand, but you can always use the graphing uh, calculator to save you time, but also to check your, your work. And that's it. Oops.